HWM Liberty, what will happen to us after the simulacrum crashes? Well, you're probably going to take your headset off. And you're going to look around and instantly know everybody in that same chamber with you. And there's probably going to be some technicians come in, make sure everybody's right, and probably hand out bottles of water or some other liquid to rehydrate. Because this entire series of life sims that we've been enduring for thousands of years probably only takes three and a half to four hours. Time is subjective. In the holography, if the holography is manipulated, then, you know, we're going through all this. This entire video, two and a half hours, however long it's going to be, may have been, may have been a, a parsec of a nanosecond. You don't know. You don't know. It's uh, I don't believe that we've been in here long at all. I don't see the evidence of that. And I, 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 I pretty much, I iterate this a lot, that history didn't happen. The things that I have uncovered, the mathematical precision in all these events, no. I don't know when the simulation began, but it didn't begin during all these events that I'm always talking to you guys about. When I'm, discuss when I'm discussing the pre-flood world and the post-flood world, the age of, of giants, when I'm talking about ancient Akkadian history, when I'm discussing, man, what was going on with the Amuru when they built the awesome Mitanni Empire and they sent emissaries to, to their kin in Egypt on the throne and traded daughters and sons, I'm not talking about history that really happened. Every bit of this is too perfect. And I've showed this in my Chronicon and in my published books. These patterns, no. History began probably in our holography. I just saw my, my system reboot. But history began maybe four or five hundred years ago, maybe even maybe even in the 1800s. Maybe. I don't know. I just don't know. It's just it's it's hard to really pick a year when the simulated holography began and everything past that was pure programming to make us to program such a detail specific history to get us to believe everything we're going through now. Because I believe when the simulations began that was real history. I believe we ran simulations all the way up till the new heavens and new earth began. Because remember, I showed you evidence of a 930-year-old civilization that was known in ancient records that ceased to exist when that reset occurred. That same reset that occurred in Gen where in Genesis we find that mankind was commanded by God to be fruitful and multiply and replenish the earth. It was a total reset when the new heavens and the new earth appeared. It was a total reset, but it ended a 930-year civilization. I believe simulations were run up to that point, and then there were stops. Okay. We like all the reality tunnels that lead up to this. We can survive this. Remember, I mean, I've told you guys over and over and over, the entire reason for the existence of the simulacrum was about survival from the beginning. That's why this has to be a copy of a very real system. It wouldn't make sense not to be a copy when we're trying to survive. How did I deduce that it was all built by survival? I've explained that as well. Because the chief things we find the more we study in ancient history was that every calendar system began with a great great cataclysmic reset there's too many of them that's too much that's too coincidental two of them maybe three of them five of them but every calendar system of the ancient world began from a cataclysm and initiated a reset, that tells me the simulated holography was built for the express purpose of studying cataclysms and resets. That means we ran simulations all the way up through history, all the way up to different points where we started and rebooted the system. Okay, we've made it to this part. We know what we can do now. We know every move that the human race has to do, every genetic change we have to do to create different races to, for, to survive different ecospheres, we know everything to get to this point. Then we run simulations. There, there are simulations go forward. Here, the simulations go forward. Oh, this one's not survivable. This one's not survivable. This one's not survivable, but this one's in. So we move up. Everything, everything now is entered into coding. It really happened in the sim in the simulation, but now we can eliminate all this. The problem is in the elimination of so many different simulated holographies, fossils cross over. 
Inside the simulacrum, nothing can escape it to contaminate, cross-contaminate the real universe. But inside the simulacrum, it's just like the inside of a hard drive to a computer. You can eliminate data protocols, but there's still fossils of coding that are still in there that can be detectable by a really good programmer. Somebody can wipe it and find that stuff. Well, in the holography, we find this all the time. In the fossil record, we find evidence of other ecosystems and worlds that we know in our, in our existence never happened. They never happened. But those echoes are in there, imprinted in our existence. But they happened under a different biosphere, a different timeline. The timeline we are existing in now, it's almost toward the end. But I think it's all the way up till about. I want to say after the Civil War, but before the 1890s. And I have reasons for that. But I think that's where everything is. We have found survivability for the human species all the way up to that point, doing multiple timelines. And now we, found, we have a timeline that we're on right now. 1890 is the date that I believe started everything for us. And I have, I have very strong reasons for that. Maybe I should do a video on that one. So, 1890 is uh, it's interesting. Happens to be 108 years from 1998, and some of you get what I'm talking about.